Don't try to be better than your competition. Try to be different. There's always going to be somebody smarter than you, but maybe not as creative. Now that's a quote from Brian Wien from the Blackstone Group. And what Brian is saying is that we all receive anywhere between five to 10,000 messages every day. So that being the case, how are people going to remember our message? Well, people will remember our message not by us being better, but by us being different or standing out. Well, how do we stand out? One way to stand out is by offering something that's different. And an example of that is a great documentary called Hell on Wheels. It's about an individual, Colin Huntington, who moved to San Francisco back in 1849 during the gold rush. Now, the only thing Colin had was $90 in his pocket and a dream to strike it rich. But it just so happened that land cost $75, a shovel cost $15. So what Colin did, obviously, is he sold a whole bunch of shovels at a profit over and over. And by doing so, he actually ended up creating and owning the West Coast's largest mineral equipment manufacturing company. And after that, he went on to help create the first railroad. So the moral to that story is who do you want to be? Do you want to be one of the countless gold miners in your business or do you want to be the Colin Huntington's? Another way to stand out is by attracting raving fans, even at the expense of attracting your haters. Now, for any of you who are familiar with Dilbert, the creator is Scott Adams. And years ago, he was in negotiations with a TV executive about creating a, a Dilbert TV show. So you had Scott Adams, you had a TV executive, and you had a focus group. And the focus group would rate each scene they saw of Dilbert. Well, the ratings were, you know, they're, they're pretty good. So Scott Adams, like the TV executive, and he mentioned that. The interesting part was the TV executive did not care about the average ratings. The TV executive cared about the people who gave it the highest ratings. He cared about that is because those are the people who'd stay home on every Wednesday and Thursday to watch the TV show. They're the same people who'd go on Facebook or Twitter and rave about it. They're the evangelists. So the question is, are you so focused on not attracting the haters is that you're diluting your own message and also not attracting your raving fans? And finally, just be yourself. There's a story that um, I, had, I don't want to tell, I want to actually read it. It's about him. Back in 2013, uh, there was a college kid. He was applying for jobs at Wall Street. And he was sending in his resumes to include a cover letter. And I want to read to you the, the cover letter. It says, I have no qualms about fetching coffee, shining shoes, or picking up laundry. And will work for next to nothing. In all honesty, I just want to be around professionals in the industry and gain as much knowledge as I can. I won't waste your time inflating my credentials, throwing around exaggerated job titles, or feeding you a line of crap about how my past experiences and skill set align perfectly for an investment banking internship. The truth is, I have no unbelievably special skills, but I do have near a perfect GPA and will work hard for you. Well, what happened, he was so honest in his, in his cover letter, is that this actually went viral and he received a job just because of that. So those were my three stories. Hope you like them. Take care and you have an awesome day.